Thank you much, guys. Yeah, as we keep our fingers crossed with our eyes on Arkansas County, I'm right now out here, right alongside I-430 between the highway and Breckenridge Village. This is right where that storm dragged itself through West Little Rock, over into North Little Rock, as we've been talking about all day, right around 1 o'clock, 1.30 today. And this is what we have found once we got here. A truck overturned, apparently blown off the highway, left like this on its side. A tree on either side of it, an, an older tree, fell down by these winds. You've got across the highway evidence of some sort of uh, housing area, homes, apartments, uh, multifamily homes, clearly damage on that side. And then near gridlock, up on Rodney Parham, which is behind my cameraman uh, Zach's uh, back right now. But then the storm makes its way across Breckenridge Village and hits the shopping center here that's at the intersection of 430 and Rodney Parham. You can see just damage right up here in an area of the uh, shopping center that was largely unoccupied. I actually ran into, by happenstance, the owner of the village, Chris Tees, who found this the easiest place to park so we could go see the damage in the place that he owns. And he told me that luckily, much of the facility, the shopping center, is unoccupied right now, so fewer people who could have sustained any kind of damage today. It's clear Eat My Catfish is trying to clean up after the storm made its way through here. And I'll tell you one other thing. On our way getting over here, it is very difficult to get around West Little Rock right now as you move from Midtown out towards the western part of the city. We had to negotiate our way through several side streets. And on our way here, we passed through the Treasure Hill neighborhood. There was a truck that had a tree falling right on top of it, a service truck, a painter. He was on his way to the grocery store. He was waiting at the stop sign there when the truck, when the tree started to fall over. He told us, we're going to try and play it for you a little bit later on as we go through our evening here. The tr tree lands on his truck just as he gets out. There are going to be stories like this all throughout this evening and in the days to come as we assess all this damage. And we know that there are still places under threat as we go into the early evening. But for now, we're live in West Little Rock. Roly Hoyt, THV 11 News.